Welcome All right, back. Welcome back. back. Welcome back. Uh, loving the conversation that much, we can tell you. <laughs> it's our third and final segment and uh, we're excited about it because we will be painting. But in with us is none other than Rachel and Serena Husner. They're, they're in with us. We're looking forward to them because of all the painting that will be going on. It is good morning. You're looking beautiful this morning. Thank and you. And welcome. Good morning. <laughs> and this is sister, sister theme today. Hey. Uh, I love that. And uh, Rachel, we have to say welcome home. We know you just yes. got in yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, last Friday. Last <laughs> Friday. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, but a week. we are so happy to have you here. And of course, uh, you are preparing for an upcoming exhibition. But just let's just get an update as to what you have been up to. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, actually, I've been doing a lot of sessions with people, mm -hmm. teaching people how to paint. Okay. You know, and um, a lot of people are people who've never painted before. Yeah. So it's just kind of like a paint and entertainment kind of thing. Okay. So but that's newest on my agenda. That's for the name I Paint and Chill Art? Yes. Paint and Chill? Paint and Chill. Oh. Well, no, you go ahead. I was going to say, this has really become a, a very popular activity across the world. I'm so glad you guys are going to be doing it here in Belize. Where you sit, you go with friends, you have, whether it's alcoholic drinks or non-alcoholic drinks. <laughs> and learn mm. how to paint or attempt how to paint whichever uh, takes place what is that experience like for you for me because i teach yeah. mm -hmm. um i'm very anxious because i want people to go home with something that they love yeah but i think the whole thing is about the experience yeah. so even if you don't come up with something too wonderful you held a paintbrush and you did something that was creative and mm -hmm. you relaxed and enjoyed the session so yeah. It's nice. It's yeah. really nice. Is it that people have to be naturally talented or are there, no. some, are there some transferable skill sets? Well, for me, I always think as long as you could write your name, mm -hmm. you could draw. Mm -hmm. So basically, I take you through a system that at the end of it, because you, you, know, you, you throw away all of those inhibitions, mm -hmm. you could draw. I mean, whenever you make your letters, you're making shapes. Mm -hmm. You're making squares yeah. and circles and curved lines and mm -hmm. so on. So. You know, that, that's actually uh, the first step in it. It's like a one-on-one that we're in here because I never did have that, that thought that as long as you're writing your name, it's actually like you're, you're drawing. drawing. So yes. that's the first step in getting to learn how to paint. Yeah. How long have you been uh, painting? hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> which, is, which, is, which is good. They I say like you, don't, you don't want it. Yeah. You yeah. Don't. <laughs> I started painting when I was 16. Wow. And I'm um, pushing. Do you say that on TV? Not it's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. Yeah. you. It's up to you. <laughs> Since you were 16, that's good enough. For right. Us. That's yeah. many years. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I've been away 20 years, you wow. know, and I've been painting long before that. So you can do the math. And for the folks who, who you've taught, uh, and then again for the product that you've got in terms of your painting, what's the response like from those that you live around? Um, the people that you've done some work right you've done work you've got some right here right now and i'm yeah. sure folks have been saying you know what rachel how much is this one oh, what oh, has yeah. the response like been like from your from your, your pretty good you know uh -huh. and actually um with the we you said the opening up of social media yeah and if you use it for positive things i have actually gotten new market with people belizean americans living abroad yeah and they're excited to get something that's Belizean, you know, but because of those new avenues. So I have yeah. clients there, clients here, and now it's kind of opened up. I'm sure there, there's a painting here that I'm sure, will, you, if, especially if you take this one back, mm. will eventually get your uh, Belizean Americans in the group. Something about fried chicken. <laughs> but well, I, was gonna, I haven't <laughs> seen them yet. I was going to ask you. Uh, these are new works? Or? Yeah, these okay. are new ones. Yeah. Let, me, let, me, let me try and get the, the fried chicken one for you. This one is You're beautiful. very excited about the fried yes, chicken. Yes, yes, because uh, everybody, yeah, everybody yeah. Uh -huh. into it. This is not the fried chicken one as no. yet. That's but um, Regent Street. this is a beauty. This is Regent Street indeed. Yeah. My yeah. goodness. You paint on dog, you know, eat everybody on a stand. <laughs> <laughs> Belize always have some But this is a wonderful painting. Yeah. Pot of. <laughs> <laughs> Pot liquor, sorry. Let me, let me, I was just, <laughs> well, that's great for my next question because I was going to ask you uh, how much, you know, every artist uh, takes their experience um, or is able to use the different experiences they have in their artistry. How much would you say uh, you now have a Caribbean influence in the work that you do? Or are you still um, 
tied to traditional cultures here in Belize? Um, no, I open it up. Yeah. I open it up. There's a lot of things that are, what do you say, um, similar yeah. with Caribbean islands. Um, but the architecture changes depending on the influence That's that right. went back. So it could be French, Spanish, English, Dutch. Dutch. Yeah. yeah. So when it comes to showing um, certain pieces in different areas, you know that this would be significantly Trinidad or Barbados, yeah. Ghana, whatever. But, um, but there's some things that could go across the Caribbean like a chicken in every scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> or a no carnival matter. Costume. Or carnival costumes. Carnival costumes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of things, or or just like books and women in the market, and our fruits, and those things are just transcendent Caribbean. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. But we've got Serena in with us as well, and Sar. Uh, what role do you play in this entire endeavor? Well, um, both of her. Um, activities will be housed inside my place, mm -hmm. Serena's Cafe Inside the Place. Mm -hmm. ah. um, starting with um, her exhibit tomorrow mm -hmm. at 5 p.m. It's um, entitled Summer... Summer Art. Summer Art. Summer yeah. Art mm -hmm. um, at 5 tomorrow inside the place. And then next week, Friday, the 20th, I think, mm -hmm. um, is her paint and chill session. And then at the end of the month will be my thing. Um, back when I had the art gallery coffee shop on Princess Margaret Drive, I used to have, um, well, it started as a poetry night, yeah. open mic night. Mm -hmm. um, it was her idea. Mm -hmm. but. I found that <laughs> I, don't I remember this <laughs> that the talent coming in expanded so much more beyond poetry. Okay. So I just changed it, changed it to a talent night, mm -hmm. and um, this is going to be the first since I opened up. I opened up not last November, but the year, November before that, okay. and have been promising, but. I have been like scared. <laughs> yeah, so the 30th, that's a Sunday at 6 p.m. Um, this is a call to all the talent mm -hmm. that used to perform at my um, coffee shop. Mm -hmm. um, be there. Just come on out. Yeah. Out yeah. Have a nice time. So what? a yeah. number of activities yeah. coming up. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell us what to expect at, that, uh, at the shop? Okay. Um, well, Talent Night is open to all levels of talent from amateurs to professionals. Mm -hmm. And you can have like beatboxing, mm -hmm. um, singing, dancing, poetry, you name it, yeah. it's there. Okay. Yeah. The one thing that I never saw was um, comedy. Oh, really? There's yeah. No comics, there are no comedians. No comedians passing through, but um, well. You're still hopeful. Yeah, yeah. I'm still hopeful. <laughs> um, he recently passed, Aaron Galanch, but he, Blanche, yeah, yeah, he um, premiered his talent at my cafe. Beatboxing. Yeah. yeah. He was so good. Yeah. yeah. He was. Yeah. yeah. So that takes place the end of the month. At um, the end of the month. The first activity is the opening of your exhibit tomorrow. tomorrow. Are you excited about that? Um, Summer art. Yes, I'm excited. Uh -huh. <laughs> How many a little pieces? nervous. Actually, it's not that much. I might have about 15 pieces. Okay. Yeah. 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 But well, be, based on the space, it's just sufficient. Okay. okay. Yeah. What's the mindset like? What do you think before uh, putting, uh, putting uh, your brush to the canvas? What goes through your mind? And how do you detect that, you know what? This is definitely one that I need to put in a piece. Um, I don't know. It's just like a gut feeling I get that ah. this would make a nice painting. And, and sometimes I think down the road, you know, what does it say about the time period that we were living in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or what does it say about life? You know, so it's not just in there. I know there's lots of different kind of painters, yeah. you know, and artists out here. So I'm a little more traditional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and you've captured, I think, you know, uh, the, the landscape, I mean, it, it reminds us of what it used to look like, yeah. and it's quickly changing in, yeah. um, within Belize City, so we will always have... And that's another have thing. People love nostalgia. Yes. yes. They love things yeah. they could relate to. And yeah. 
it brings fun memories. It, yeah, I was just going to say, it brings us back to a particular period in our lives. Um, and I think that's, that's the beauty of it, uh, whether it's evoking memory or emotion, mm -hmm. um, that's the beauty of, of art. Yeah. So I, I want to get moving a bit into what we have displayed here because not only are we going to try to paint, but we're going to paint with chocolate. Is that yes. what I've been told? <laughs> <laughs> this just gets better and better. <laughs> Definitely. So the paint and chill session. Um, let's let's since it, it's a new activity for people in Belize, let's just talk a bit about it before we jump into this, right? Mm -hmm. What can people expect? Well, basically, when you come, um, you're going to get your materials. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, as you mentioned before, a little food and drink in between. Yeah. We play a little music to get you relaxed. Yeah. yeah. And also, I will walk you through the painting in about 10 or 12 steps. So at the end of it, you have something that you like. Okay. And you can go home mm. with and you just It's an experience. That's, That's what, what it is. is. Yeah. And it's going to be something uh, out of your mind? Something that the, indi the individual create from mind? or I'm, I actually have something that I pre yeah. Um, planned mm -hmm. for yeah. the class oh, okay. session, yeah. And how can one be a part of that session? Well, you could call Serena, give them your number. 601-7995 or show up at the bliss. What is there enough space? No, no we no, need, no. We need people to book seats at before. The bliss to book. Yes. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. of course, uh, food and drinks will be provided by yeah. Serena's Cafe. Cafe. Wow. And, you, and you're familiar mm -hmm. with the, the um, food mm -hmm. and drink. From mm. the shop, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, we'll have something with a little alcohol. In I was going to say, oh, yes. Yes. you know, creativity sometimes means you have to release inhibitions and uh, yeah. <laughs> all the fears that come along with it. So mm -hmm. there will be some yeah. adult, yeah, well, beverages as well. The yes. one adult beverage that I serve is called the Good Stuff. It's an alcoholic caffeinated beverage. All right. The, it <laughs> combines um, coffee, coffee liqueur, vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, chocolate syrup, milk, and ice. And then it's garnished with chocolate syrup, whipped cream, cocoa powder, and a cherry. So you serious? That just yeah. sounds <laughs> like sin. <laughs> 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 but worth it. In, in the, um, what is the cost associated with participating in the session? Mm -hmm. Well, um, we... Do you mind if we don't put that online? Okay. So okay. just so people could call. We're still kind of yeah. working out the because details. it's yeah the details. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when they call, we'll give them. But it's not going to be prohibitive. So. And it's going to be okay. limit. It has to be limited space because yeah. you you need mm -hmm. to have enough. Students and we to also work need with. to start on time. Yeah. So whoever we're booked, they yeah. need to be there at a certain time so okay. that when you're working through the steps, you don't have to stop and go back. That's yeah. To start That's over true. with yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. What time will it start? Mm -hmm. um, we're looking at six o'clock. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, so we're going to get a little preview of what it's like to uh, try to paint with instruction. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, Rage, uh, do, you, do you paint? I've uh, tried it once or twice. Okay, uh, not so a, you're going to need it. it. Not good at it, but... I do finger painting with my niece. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> that counts very much. <laughs> if, if you choose to do finger painting, that's fine. All right, so, so step by step. Oh, First step one is major thing I forgot to mention mm -hmm. that the event is going to be sponsored by Moho Chocolate. Wow. So I'm trying to get the whole Belize thing in yeah, there. Yeah, of that. course. And um, I didn't get enough samples. So I'm using, but usually what we use is dark chocolate. Okay. okay. So you're going to get, and this is actually, um, let me give you some of Moho Chocolate. And the whole idea is we start off hard and we draw with our chocolate, right? Okay, we, here we go. Yeah. Do you normally draw with chocolate or this is a new venture for you? Well, I've done, um, before I've painted with coffee, yeah. I've painted with turmeric, mm -hmm. um, I've done some beetroot, some ricardo, mm -hmm. you know, things that have nice color to yeah. them. Mm -hmm. uh, just for, you know, experience and sometimes doing something different and mm -hmm. seeing what materials we could use. So I thought everybody loves chocolate. So we start with chocolate, and actually I have a um, picture okay. of what we're going to do today. So Ooh. this is a little boat team. Okay, Wait, so. you want us to do that? <laughs> 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 I did this last night, this actually, because I was like, what do I do? This is going to be interesting, okay. Yes, so, um, and it's actually what you call a monochromatic painting. Okay. So it's all the same color. Color, color. okay. All right. So okay. basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with just a basic straight line across a so okay. horizontal line. Okay. So here okay. We go. 
And the don't, don't tremble. Just, just do it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> There's pressure. <laughs> There's no pressure. Okay. Right. All right. Now we're gonna make a curvy line here. I told my son, is it like a comma? But that's not really a comma. That's okay. just a curvy line, and all it right. comes all the way up there. Right? So it comes all the way, a curvy line with chocolate all the way up. Uh -huh. Now when I'm doing it backwards, it usually just looks really awful. So <laughs> I need to get up. Now we're gonna do another one coming back. That way. Almost like, right. a like a banana, right? But not hey, close. Not really a banana. Okay, not too bad. All right. All right. Good, good. And then I'm so we tempted to eat my chocolate. <laughs> yeah. It's like in my hand. So we're going to reach that. All the problems that are letting off of you, I want to put it in my mouth. Right. right. Now we're going to just make another little curvy line, like a happy face behind there. Okay. So another curvy line, like a happy face. Yeah. Just do it in the back. Okay. So here we no, go. No, because I, yeah, don't go too high. Very good. Yeah, Let so me see I'm yours. trying. I'm trying Awesome. Here. Right. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to just join that line right there. Straight line? Mm -hmm. Straight line. Yeah, join your happy face. Right. Now we're going to come in the middle here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just bring one line straight up. Sweet. That's a, that's oh, that's a our boat. Yay. And it looks ah. like a boat already, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. And then we're going to do a little curvy line right there coming across up to that line. Okay, a curvy line. Yeah. And we're going to get like a rectangle in here. Oh, so mine right. is kind of. Show me that picture already, but yeah. no, that's all right. Okay, you can't mess it up. Right here, mm -hmm. here, yeah, here, very here. good. You know, the, the fishermen they need yeah, to go inside of here, yeah. Right? <laughs> and then, well, let's do almost like an upside down V right here okay. on the back. An upside down V, there we go. Very oh. nice, and then. We want, now these are diagonal lines, it's just like little slanty lines behind here. Right there. Two diagonal lines. Okay, very good. Very nice. Awesome. Could you make your, um, make this a little taller? Okay. Right, make yours a little taller as well. Right. And then we're going to bring some diagonal lines down on the sides. So you almost like you have a a big um all the way down to the boat yeah all the way down to the boat those are those the sail wrote the sail sweet very nice oh more lines good oh the chocolate. so when do we draw the picture eating the fish <laughs> okay <laughs> right, i'm not sure we, okay, we can so put we some birds lines. up so here so we can just do some little curvy lines there yeah? Well, I the remember how to draw birds in, in you know school. you're correct you mm. usually have like pelicans out there <laughs> eating those fish so you can do as much birds as you like. That's up to you, right? Okay. So we're going to go on to another step now, and hopefully our water is still warm. OK. It's it's getting on your fingers. Yay. It should be. Don't, don't lick your fingers. It you could if you want to, my sister. Does mine look like a boat like a, like a boat yet? Oh, we can't get them. It's yeah. too paper's too white. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yours is showing. Yeah. Mine is. There you go. Too I'm in the middle of the light, yeah. Too tilted. Okay, now what you're gonna no, do is, uh -huh, go ahead. We're gonna drop a little bit of chocolate inside your water there. This one. Yeah, that's yours. Ooh. This is his. And I think I dropped my chocolate in your water. Okay. <laughs> but that's okay. You can put extra right. chocolate. So we can put it in. Yeah, you can put it in. That's fine. Right. Sweet. Ooh, it melts. Right. Yes. So now we need it to melt, and we're gonna use it now like a watercolor. Do water we break color. it up or? Yeah, kind of just swizzle it around there so you could get that a little diluted. Mm-hmm. It's so this is kind of what people will expect at the session itself, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. All right. So is it breaking now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a wash using mm -hmm. your bigger brush. And we're just going to get some color in there in the sky. Okay. Is it, is it dark enough? Okay. Hey, eventually it's going to get a little darker. So work with it now. Mm -hmm. And it's going to mm -hmm. melt down on its own. Right. Dark. You need to wet the next side mm -hmm. of the brush. <laughs> <laughs> you need the brush part, John. You need the brush right. part. That's right. how it works. Oh, nice. Now, depending Sweet. on the kind of brush strokes you use, you know, you can mm -hmm. make it a little more exciting. Right? And we're going to come down. Now, because 
it's all one color. You don't want everything covered, right? Uh. Yeah. So if you notice in the demonstration piece, there's like a little piece of the boat there that's still light and here and maybe a little bit here because usually the light comes in from one direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. So wherever the light hits is going to be lighter. Do I paint over the, the, the oh, drawn yes. parts? Three, two, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Because we could always come back. It's color, actually. Yeah. Yeah. There. Okay. there you go. Do you see how this can be so entertaining, Beautiful. right? That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Minus the glass of whatever right now, which makes it more fun. Yeah, you could imagine. Imagine yeah. the inspiration we'll have. Jordan should have been here. Who's Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> He's the traveler's bartender. Yep. Oh, oh my goodness. We need more sponsors. <laughs> Right now, because the water is not so hot, it's not melting because we want to get like a deeper tone, mm -hmm. but you're going good. So at this point, what we're, we would do is we would just kind of like tell everybody, just rest a little bit, have a little glass Sip of something, something, talk to you, walk around, see your friends work, let it dry a little bit, mm -hmm. and then we'll come back again and we'll start building up more tones. Okay. Yeah, that's how it works. So this is the basic part of it, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, and don't lose all your white. And oh. <laughs> he's so carried oh, he away. Oh, he covered the entire thing. That's okay. I'm trying. I can't get you. <laughs> is it showing? There we go. It's okay. We got yes. something showing ah. now. Yeah. yeah. All right. There we're we're fighting. I'm fighting the lights, but you can see that. It kind of resembles a boat. Yeah, <laughs> and what it does, we can do with birds. once it dries is we'll start neatening out the bottom of it. Okay. okay. So you can get that boat floating in the water. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this is obviously just a sample. We wanted to show you how easy it is to be able, with the right instructions, of course, mm -hmm. be able to create your own masterpiece. And uh, this is exactly what you can expect at the paint and chill session. And we do provide aprons, so you don't mess up your pretty clothes. Oh, <laughs> everything provided, that's excellent. Or you just yes. eat it all, right? Um, will you be doing chocolate as well? Yes. Yeah. Oh, From Moho Chocolate. Bad. From Moho Chocolate. Right. Chocolate yeah. painting with uh, that very sinful chocolate adult drink that Sarina spoke about. Yes. Uh, all of that is going to be happening at the paint and chill session taking place next Friday, 6 p.m. at Sarina's Cafe at the Bliss. Yes. Yeah, so you know, I, I could inside just, the Bliss. Inside the Bliss, I could just see what it's going to be like. First of all, the chocolate. It's the aroma is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So you have chocolate, mm -hmm. you'll have a nice drink, mm -hmm. you'll have good friends. So your mm -hmm. mind will be at calm. This yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. This is something that and you music. want to be a yeah. part of. And music. It's yes. a it's we a have to have music. it's a wonderful way to spend your Friday night. We don't have opportunities like this very often. So we really hope people take advantage of it. It is limited, there is limited space RSVP. available. So you do have to contact uh, the cafe to be able to reserve your spot mm -hmm. uh, and do so early because I'm sure a lot of people will want to join into yeah. the exercise and of course if they go to the opening of your exhibit tomorrow that's one way they can get their name down for that reservation right that's right what time is the exhibit tomorrow five o'clock 5 right. p.m right also at the bliss yes. right or uh, they can go anytime go down anytime to the before five mm -hmm. and reserve that space all right, nice. Thank you so much for uh, coming in and uh, sharing a bit of your work. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, uh, the Summer Arts Exhibit by Rachel Huchner is uh, opening tomorrow. Do check it out. Uh, all the paintings will be on sale? Yeah, I yes. was just about okay. to ask. Yes. So mm -hmm. you can also purchase uh, your favorite piece of art as well. Thank you for Thank stopping in. For Best of us. luck. <laughs> I wish I could make it to this event, but uh, the rest of you, I hope you take advantage of it as well, right? Um, so that's it for us. We're going to go ahead and take our final break. When we come back, we'll have our wrap up. So stay tuned. <laughs>